Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I don't even know what I just did with my hands right there, but today, guys, we're gonna be picking up a new car. At least that's what we plan on doing. So, guys, I don't know if you guys know, but basically, the 335 is been taking fat balonies on me, and I need to get some parts. And parts are not cheap. You guys know they run about 60, 70 a pump, a piece, everything, a sensor. So we decided to do. We found a guy. Um, that was, you know, he was parting out his car. I actually got my entire interior from that car. He was selling everything for the low. Now he wants to get rid of the car. I told him I won't buy the car from you unless you have the pink slip. Um, so he ended up getting the pink slip and I was like, yo, you know what? I'm actually gonna come down, check it out, and we might buy it. So we might buy the car and at least get all the parts that we need for it for this or maybe even rebuild it because my friend Erlon, his brother's car just broke down. So we might need to build him a new car, which means it's gonna be another rebuild in my channel and his channel. But if we end up doing it for the rebuild, I'm gonna get, he's gonna buy it. But if I ended up parting it out, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Um, so we'll see what we're gonna do with the car But regardless, hopefully we'll be able to pick it up show you guys the car and we'll show you guys what car We've been literally getting all our parts from um, so we may not have to kill a car We might be able to revive it. So I'm gonna go down get some Taco Bell um, Because I'm hungry and then we're gonna head down. All right, so uh, I think that's gonna be the plan to be honest with y'all This car needs some ignition coils. It's like boy. Oh boy. I love BMWs. Who loves BMWs? I love BMWs Full sarcasm. Let's go Can I just get uh, two sp spicy potato tacos? Two? Yeah, and a cup of water. And a cup of water. You got anything else for a day? That'd be all. Appreciate it. Any sauces? Uh, no, thank you. Would you like to donate a dollar to have Marcus with scholarships and programs today? Go ride, run through like a storm, yeah. Go for the kill, I feel like Jason Bourne, yeah. Alright right, guys, so I just made it to Erlon's place. Um, we're gonna go ahead. That's the car he's having problems with. He's had some engine issues, so we'll see what we're gonna do with the other car, but let's go ahead and go down there and check it out. Just gonna wait for him to get out. He's uh you know he's just getting ready, I guess. Alright guys, so I'm at Erlon's place. You can see that's the valve cover off the 250,000 mileage 328. I think it's a 325 or 320. I'm not sure. It's a 2006. Probably a 325. Anyways, this is the Soliv model. And as you guys can see from the engine, this is how an engine would look after 250,000 miles. Honestly, not that bad. But I'll ask him when he actually gets out here. The good thing is that the E90s, they do have a chain instead of a belt inside the engine. So you always know you're safe on that. But uh, yeah, I'll ask him when, when he gets out what's actually going on with the engine if he knows. Alright guys, so it turns out our lawn actually wants to put it all together before we actually head out to the other car. We're just going to see what happens. Um, he actually did find a little plastic thing broken inside the valve cover, so we'll see if that even makes a difference or not. But, uh, yep. Are you guys starting out right now, or? So is this where 252 ends, or 252 starts after a valve cover? I've never seen a check engine light flash like that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like I'm in an episode of Scooby Doo. Oh my, like one sound goes away. <laughs> Alright guys, so we come down to the conclusion. You guys only heard the bad side of the engine. We're going to start it again when we actually get back. Actually, something crazy happened. So, we'll talk to you guys when we actually get back. We're going to go check out the other car. We actually have some crazy intentions for the other car. We just like thought about it just now, but we can't tell you guys because, um, we haven't confirmed any of it yet. But anyways, we'll get back to you guys. We're gonna go down, we gotta go check out the car. He's been waiting on us, so uh, yeah, we'll check back with you guys when we're over there. I don't know if I wanna record, um, not gonna lie. I don't feel safe, but <laughs> we'll cut back to you guys once we actually either pick up the keys or, um, you know. Guys, we just saw like a very adorable puppy over here trying to buy a car, but it's right there. But the guy hasn't came here yet, so we're just chilling with a little pup. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> buy the car, get the puppy free. It's a bundle. <laughs> My phone died, so my car is right here. Alon's car is actually back there. We just bought the car, so the car is gonna be right here. And we're working on the 330i right now. 
a lot of beamers up in here. Anyways, guys, we actually started this up after unplugging the O2 sensor and plugging it back in. It sounded a whole lot better, so we'll show you guys how it sounds in a little bit. But uh, for now, we're just gonna go ahead and assemble everything because this is um, your daily, right? So um, we need to get this on the road. It was pretty good. He's enjoying life right now. I mean, honestly, you're not even too mad right now because your car ended up turning over pretty fine, right? It's all spot on right now. Yeah, like last night you were kind of like tripping, right? You couldn't even sleep. But yeah, after we heard it, guys, it sounds really good. All right, guys. About to. Oh, look at your boy's car over there. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, guys, we just got our food right here. Waiting for the car to be off, and then uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and eat before we actually uh, start working on it. <laughs> this shit scared me, bro. I was like, oh shit, the engine's gonna slam, the transmission's gonna fall out. look at all the parts so this is all all the stuff that's left over from this car it is absolutely trashed uh, but you know your boys are about to restore this well not just me Erlan over here thinks he can go ahead and fix this <laughs> either he's on some good crack or <laughs> or i don't know what the heck is going on with that but he's gonna fix that i'm gonna you know your boy get it with aesthetics i'll go ahead and do the interior probably with you right like you and me probably good with that type of stuff. Yeah. And then you know your boy Arlon's probably gonna hook it up and also work on the front end. We got the whole, um, we got the whole great interior up in my attic right now. Yeah, like he had, we literally have the whole interior in the in the garage, um, in the attic. And you know we could probably we could probably whip this up and under again. How much do we pay for this again? I don't know. One fifty. One fifty, boys. That's not one fifty as in like one hundred fifty thousand. That's one fifty as in one hundred fifty. So that's a good price, boys. And as you guys can see from the block. This is a 330i, this isn't a 328. So this is basically that car, the potential. Hey, what's going on, bro? <laughs> All right, guys, so tonight we're actually, we can't really do much, but as you guys can see, the whole interior is just messed up. So we're gonna take everything out, organize what we can, at least get it to somewhat presentable condition, probably even wash the car. And unfortunately, I cannot time lapse this because my camera died and I don't have a tripod for my phone. So I'm sorry, guys, on that. But, and I'm also, I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions on why we ended up buying another car, even though I'm still the 335. But anyways, when you guys see a big good deal on a car and the engine and training, you know, are solid, you know, you guys know me that I had, look, look at it like this. If we can't actually revive this car for the low, I could take the training out and put it in my car. And, you know, because my 330i transmission is messed up. So, you know, regardless, we won. But uh, we're going to try to bring it to life. And if we can, um, it's going to be crazy. Hashtag saving BMW. All right, guys. So I shit you not. Look at that. So that's the dash. Pretty much the entire interior all in pieces. Look at all that. This is just Oh my god, don't even ask us. But right now we're back in the whole interior and we're gonna start piecing it, piecing it. Probably not tonight, guys. Probably not tonight. I know I'm excited. I know you guys are excited because, yo, we're out here trying to save lives, right? Oh, <laughs> oh hell no, he's trying to kill someone. But anyways, um, how much, what did you even get out of there? That's, that's reasonable. That's when you know the people you bought the car from are sketched. Anyways, honestly, we came, we came up on this. There's yeah, we came good up. Good cutlery right there. Honestly, I, I bet you that I was by itself was the value of the whole car we paid for. Yo, we should just make this race car. <laughs> you want to make it a race car? Honestly, honestly, it's man. possible, my guys. It's, I mean, this is already you know fully gutted. We reduced the car by 100 pounds, probably even 200. Honestly, look at this. We don't even need window regulators or windows. Oh boy, he's slapping the dash up in here. Are you actually slapping the dash in right now? Yeah, just sitting on top. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm stupid excited. Oh boy. All right, well, guys, I know, I know. Is the 335 still gonna continue? Here's the thing. You guys know the 335 has to go back to the shop for another week, so you guys know your boy has to bring you all content. Can't beat you can't, yeah, bucks. where are you gonna find a car for 150 bucks? And you know the engine and training are like almost like, actually, no, we're like 80% sure it runs, right? No, we're 90%. I wanna say 90%. We'll say about 90%, but I mean, I know the training 100%, so worst comes to worst, guys. I just got a training for 150 bucks. Best case comes to best, you know, I got another 330i for, you need help with this? I need to take All right, I'll come back to you guys later. Magician up in here. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, guys, look at this. The brown interior, brown carpets are in. We got the e-brake. 
uh this system's in here luckily all this stuff we found in the car when we picked it up uh got the dash in there we actually haven't screwed in anything um but we did get the steering wheel all the accessories for the steering wheel push start key um we actually do need to install the gas pedal so that's kind of a problem all the wiring actually from this car you guys know that i cut it out for my 335 so yeah, this is gonna need a lot of work, a lot of rebuilding here, but I'm sure you guys are very down for this and big plans for this, honestly. So right now, um, I don't know if you guys know, but basically I would not buy this car on my own right now. This is, this is I, don't, I can't afford a project on my own. So we went 50-50 with Erlon and his brother. Uh, so basically we both went in this, we both wanna do a project together. It'll be fun. We live like literally like 20 minutes away from each other. So like, yo, we're gonna do it. You wanna leave it at his house. Um, so they're also gonna be uploading content on this car while I'm working on the 335. And then the days that, you know, I can work on it, I'll come by here and also help him work on it. So if you guys want to be watching uh, part of this build, make sure to check out his channel. So actually you're going to probably see most of the builds because I'm not going to be here. Make sure to check out Erlon, his brother's channel down below. And of course, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated with everything that's going on. Probably ask for some footage and, uh, you know, we'll keep some stuff on my channel. But mostly, I think they're going to have it mostly on their channel because I don't, this car is not going to be at my house. All right, guys, so we are back home. This is actually a couple days after and this is your boy Nor not sleeping at all it's morning and your boy hasn't slept i don't know what i'm doing i actually have brain damage so i'm actually gonna set down the camera right now but um yeah guys so crazy plans for the 330i it is pretty much the cheapest running e90 you'll ever find even if you try to get something from an auction even if you win the auction for 150 you're not going to get out of it with fees under 150 be at least 600 dollars this is the cheapest running 330 or BMW E90 or any pretty much any running BMW. So yeah, we had to pick it up. Um, we're gonna make content with it regardless. It's up to you guys what you guys want to see with it. Maybe a drift build, maybe a rebuild, maybe take out the training, swap it out with my car, part out the rest of it, maybe just part it out. You guys let us know what you want to do. But we're thinking about rebuilding it and just pretty much turning the cheapest E90 ever into you know a running perfectly running car we know what's wrong with it we can fix it it's just gonna take some time me or Alana going 50 50 on it which means parts gonna be a whole lot cheaper and at the same time he works at BMW now so you can hook it up on all kinds of fluids and stuff like that they're gonna be needing for the car because that typically becomes the hardest thing for us um, getting parts is not that hard for us anymore um, thankfully we have people that are helping us throughout the, every single build we got sponsors we got all kinds of people I just reach out to the sponsorships and everything and they hook it up with parts and then some of you guys are always generous message me on on my Instagram and just hooking it up. So rebuilding it is not gonna be the hardest. I actually wanna see how cheap we can get this car to be rebuilded. We could probably try to get it under $600 maybe, a perfectly running E90. You know, maybe we can do that. But um, currently it's a running car, not a run and drive. So we're gonna try to make it a run and drive perfectly. Um, and that's the goal, guys. If you guys are excited as I am, make sure to smash the like button so I can get a video out soon for you guys. Time to conclude this video. I love y'all so much. If you guys wanna support the channel, make sure to smash that like button. Love y'all so much once again. Love y'all so much and love y'all so much and love you all so much. I just love you all so much. So peace out, guys. Like we're chill, you know, we're chill. But if you lick me, if you lick me, oh no, no, he can't lick me. <laughs> He's so cute. Don't lick me. I'm telling you, we're friends. We're kind of friends. We're friends. Let me just pet you real quick. Don't lick me. <laughs> she got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. With the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Y'all love, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know, you're all.